And hello and welcome back to Dyke Tangles. We're playing Dwarf Fortress again and uh Um When I watched the last video I noticed that we now have a mayor who happens to also be our overseer. I guess he's had the uh he's had a lot of free time and he's made friends with the uh uh people of Dyke Tangles and they voted him to be their mayor. So that's fine I guess, but that also means that he needs that he's now demanding better stuff for himself. Uh, also means that once if he gets replaced we we're gonna have to uh, make a mayor's of mayor's quarters from scratch later on. Because I don't want to give the overseer's quarters to anyone else but the overseer, even though it's not a official position <laughs> anymore. Um, mm, let's see. Yeah, he's gonna need a lot of stuff. Uh, so one weapon rack and one armor stand, and then he should go to. Um, orange status. I think that he can still work in that status, but it won't be as efficient as otherwise. We can also appoint a, uh, a captain of the guard, and I was thinking we might as well make make uh, Saturn is the sheriff. Then let's make him the uh, captain of the guard. Uh, like that. Because he already has his uh, stuff that that's needed for that. Um, let's give him a, a better profession name. I guess we can just call him the uh, Captain of the Guard, although that's the default one as well. Um, should we call him? Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what would be a cool profession name for him? Uh, Let's think about this. Yeah, we're just gonna call him Guard Caption. Guard Caption. Captain. At least for now. And, uh. Yeah, there's not much else to do there. Uh, we're just. Now we're just gonna order a armor stand and a. Um. Weapon rack and some blocks as well. Like that. Um, and now let's take a look at these migrants. So this was the completely useless one again. How about this one? A even more useless one. Um, I think Carol Meng Mengnesik is gonna uh, join the Fortress Guard. <laughs> or not, maybe. Um, I'm thinking that for this uh, fortress we're not gonna concentrate too much on the simple traps because I think they are pretty OP. Because uh, a couple of lines of cage traps and you can basically uh, defeat any siege if you just turtle. I prefer to use, you know, archer towers and maybe some sort of, you know, the first line of defense will be uh, sort of a more shaggier uh, militia groups, you know, a high casualty rating, um, some sort of, a, you know, recon corps. We'll train them, you know, <laughs> but uh, they won't have a long life expectancy. Um, Maybe we could have tiered walls, you know. Um, guess what show I've been look watching lately a lot? 
Uh, anyone who guesses will get a cookie. Um, so yeah, he's probably gonna get killed in a skirmish pretty soon. Babok. On the other hand, I don't think we want the fortress guard. Alright, we need to create the... Uh, uh, for now, let's give him archer. Um, we're gonna um, sort those uniforms out pretty soon, I think. For now, that will do. Um, let's unforbid... No, they aren't forbidden even. Uh, I wonder why these guys aren't uh, picking these bolts up. Um, we should probably allow ammo here. Yeah, it's not. So we need to enable that. Nope. Uh, like that. And. Oh. See who else is coming. Uh, a chick, pet chick, so we can't kill it. And a ranger, good. And so we don't want really want the um, to use the fortress guard as fodder, since they are basically the ones who keep order, order in our fortress. So they'll mostly be concerned with you know internal affairs and protecting the fortress itself um, and probably they'll be also posted in a tower of some kind um, so we'll once we get some weapons we'll make some squads that are purely you know more like fodder um, we'll, we'll give them a chance you know they need to be able to actually fight off the goblins, but um, we'll fill the ranks with uh, the more useless uh, dwarves like this one, who aren't actually gonna be too missed if they if and when they die. This guy, on the other hand, could make for a fine guardsman, maybe. He's also a hunter, so we'll need to um, disable that job. I don't really like them, you know, just randomly running off and trying to kill a fucking... Uh, Titan or something. Um, and then we have a pet ram. So we're gonna have to assign that one to the pasture as well. Um, from here and uh, like that. And a cheesemaker. <laughs> wow, we're getting the good ones today. And the next one is a Max Dwarf. Good. You know, it's semi-useful. It's only a uh, novice in Max Dwarf, but he does have adequate dodger, which I, I guess it's, it's, it's pretty nice, actually. It's also an animal trainer. Always, always good to have do those ones and uh, Coxack Paddle Legend, Paddle Legend, a duckling and a furnace operator who is also a fucking awesome soldier. Look at this. He also might make for a mayor later on. I think he's pretty good at socializing. Um, now, um, the reason I now immediately suspicious about this guy is because he's got <laughs> good skills. Uh, he might be a vampire. I we we don't want those guys here. They're gonna murder dwarves in their sleep and possibly frame someone else for it. But he is a pretty useful useful guy. So if he is a vampire, we're gonna we're not gonna kill him. We're gonna make use of him. He's gonna be our because uh, the thing with undead is. They won't attack each other actively, so if we uh, use vampires as our vanguard against the uh, possible necromancer threat, their zombies won't attack these vampires and we can just go straight for the necromancers and then wipe out the zombies one by one. So this guy could be useful even if 
he is a vampire. And so let's start our detective work then. Shaksu uh, Tigut, right? Um, the way we do this is by first of all looking to kill. Uh, Astro Thief Forks the Goblin. Uh, so this is a historical character first of all, so uh, that's a one clue. He might be a vampire then, uh, although there are plenty of historical characters who aren't vampires as well. So relationship ships. Um, um, clue number two, he only has one. Um, Uh, one listed relationship, so that's actually proof that he isn't a vampire, because vampires usually have a lot of, uh, 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 they have a lot of, uh, relationships, or, you know, they, like, have great, great, great grandsons and, uh, you know, a huge list of offspring who they shouldn't be even able to have met or be aware of. Um, let's look at the DT. Almeth Beard Hale is a DT of the Ardent Confederations. Almeth most often takes the form of a male human and is associated with plants. Uh, received the worship of the human vampire Gal Ballad Camps. Received the worship of the elf. Blah blah blah. Received the worship of Southern Weepotals. In the mid autumn of 59, Almuth cursed the human vampire Gal Ballad Camps to pro prowl the night in search of blood in uh, trample, trample drinces. Uh, blah blah blah. Received the worship of. Um. Now. Let's make a cross reference here. If, if, um, because there is a dwarf vampire here, and if none of these names here, the dwarf names, if none of them match, uh, then it means probably means that the uh, this guy here is this Anlar tulip feasts. Uh, so, Saxul Teshkad Tikut, because vampires usually lie their names right so uh, are there any sex tools here um, I don't see any so uh, yeah I think we do have a vampire let's also see his uh, mood he's 72 years old born on the uh, 25th of Obsidian in the year 54. Um, uh, a discrepancy has been detected. If you can, as you can remember, or am I wrong actually? No, it's a. Uh, yes, I was wrong. Okay, so. Uh, it wasn't a discrepancy. I was. Uh, <laughs> I was remembering that it was the year. Uh, 200 and something because that's where I usually start but uh, we had a shorter history in this game now I remember that um, let's see more uh, she's slow to heal and remarkably flimsy yep um, um, let's actually uh, put him into quarantine because this is the final and the most effective way of identifying a vampire. Now it's a good thing we have this empty room because we can also use this as ugh, there's a partial skeleton of a rotted goblin there. We can also use this place as a quarantine. So um, let's go to W, which means burrows, add new burrow and uh, define this burrow. We'll make a four. We'll make a small bureau right there and we'll call it Vampire Quarantine. And add citizens to bureau and we'll now find that Zaxul guy who just migrated. Um, now where is he? I think this is the one. Just be sure. Um, yeah, it's gotta be. 
right. Um, and now, the way this works is, um, if he gets hungry or thirsty, he's not a vampire. Because when he's burrowed, he can't, he's not allowed to move elsewhere, so he can't drink or uh, eat. And if he gets hungry or thirsty, that means that he is not a vampire. Because vampires don't get hungry or thirsty. Um, so let's just see what happens. Um, now he's standing in one place. I guess that works like two. Um, Adil lom Locum Rudem. P puppy. Uh, dog, I guess that's fine. A farmer again and a fishery worker. So, we have a lot of potential uh, militiamen then. Militia candidates who won't be missed very much if they die. Of course, some dwarves may get upset. Uh, we will slaughter this uh, mule foal. We don't need him. But we may need uh, his meat. Uh, let's see the kitchen then. If we have anything to cook with. Uh, we don't want to use these uh, these drinks for uh, cooking either. But we do have plenty of turkey hen eggs. So Maybe they could make something out of those. They probably can't. Just because. Now what's he doing? No job. This guy could be really useful if he's not a vampire as well. Because he's a really good soldier. Great mage dwarf, great shield user, great armor user, and great dodger. Which means that he moves quite quickly in armor, even when he's wearing armor, and he's good at avoiding getting uh, killed. So that's good. And uh, I think that was the last one. Yeah. And so now we'll just see if Saxul is a vampire. And meanwhile, our uh, oh shit! Right, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Um, we're gonna need someone to someone to. Um, Remove some constructions for us. This one and this one. And then we'll reassign that construction work. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, what are these guys doing? Uh, probably getting something that. Yeah, that from that mule, I think. Um, Mr. Saxel in his uh, Hall of Shame, yes he is. Let's lock the door in case he goes prowling it around. I'm not sure if that happens if he's uh, in a burrow, but can't be too safe. I still... we still need those weapon racks, it seems. And the armor stand. Uh, for some reason, the dwarves haven't uh, done that yet. Uh, oh, there! As we speak, they're doing it. Okay. Um. Right. We didn't check the. Um, Affiliations page yet. He's a tedious worshipper of Almef Beardhailed. Right. She is a citizen of the Combine Barricade. She is a member of the Decisive Mine. She is a former member of the Past Quake League. She is a former member of the Veiled Society. She is a former member of the Ardent Confederations. She is a former member of the Washed Gr Group. She is a former member of the Mountainous Commun Communion. She is the former chief. Chiefess of the past Quake League. 
She arrived in Emu Shredded on the third of Malakad in Dune. So, I think this is a vampire. She is a vampire. As we just found out. Because he's previously, uh... He's basically changed civilizations. And I think that's because he's got... She got revealed to be a vampire. And he she had to flee. And, um... She also has a ton of different group affiliations. So... Let's just see if she gets thirsty or hungry, and if she doesn't, we know for sure. But I'm pretty, pretty sure already that she is a vampire. So uh, let's start also uh, expanding this staircase again. We need to dig deeper and more greedier. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We'll. Hit the caverns soon enough, I think. Three, four, five. And some jobs for our miners as well. And then let's place these walls again. Things aren't running smoothly, really. Um, is any combat going on? Nope. And just harmless little animals around. Um, Might as well now um, give the uh, fortress guard some members. We need a at least a couple of guys with actual weapon skill weapon skills. Right, that will do. We'll also order in two bucklers, two shields, and also. Three wound crossbows and some bone bolts. Right now, we can again place these walls. Dwarves really need to. Uh, some more stuff for us. I think we now have the uh, um, weapon racks and armor stands ready. So we'll put them in his bedroom. He's not gonna have this sort of uh, nice sleeping area. Just playing with his dog there. What a nice guy, eh? Um, mm, yeah, he's just idling, <laughs> like a proper noble. Um, he's also gonna need something for his office and uh, dining room. Maybe some statues. Well, they'll grow tough. They're getting mauled by their parents, but they'll grow tough, you know. Uh, so that's the uh, bright side there. Um, do we have a quern yet? I think we at least er ordered one um, earlier, so we'll... Yep, we do have a quern, and... We'll place it, um, where should we place it? We'll place it here for now. We'll probably move all this crap later. And maybe make windmills instead. 
Those are always cool to build. And uh, so let's also expand this staircase now. We have the opportunity. Um, can't remember the uh, specs for this sort of uh, thing. I think it's yeah. Um, first of all, of course, we need the. Uh, Upstairs down here before we can actually assign anything else. Otherwise, they'll just dig out that Spot and we'll have to build Nice we've struck hematite uh, Hematite of course is a ore that it can be smelted into iron Pretty good um, One two and uh, Three um, one, two, three. I think that's right. Um, it should be. Should be right. Uh, see if there's a big way. We're gonna mine it out if there is. Saxel is definitely a vampire, so uh, that's something fun too. <laughs> too and uh, so yeah, the second layer of the tower is now ready, and next up we'll build a uh, downstairs up here uh, from rock salt blocks, and then we can place the floor here. And put a hatch on top of this so nothing gets in hopefully at least and then we'll carve out these walls into fortifications and so we can station troops here they'll be able to shoot everything around here and uh, they'll be moderately safe from any return fire unless the uh, enemies have um, elites elite archers with them and so um, yeah, next time we'll finish the tower. This time it's definite. Um, so in this episode we find out found out the, that a migrant we had is both extremely good at doing stuff, but he's also a vampire. But he will be the first line of defense against the undead menace. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, uh, check out the other ones and maybe. Uh, Maybe even like, subscribe, and that sort of things. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.